Think investing in the hot biotech sector is a sure thing? Think again. Or when it comes to some companies, just think once. Hello and welcome to The Deal Report. I'm Jeff Kanige. Biotech companies sure look good these days. Nearly $200 billion in mergers and acquisitions last year and nearly $7 billion in IPOs, the highest numbers in 13 years. Easy money, right? Well, no. Not every biotech is destined for success. But how can you tell the winners from the losers? This stuff is complicated. It's like biology and technology together. It's really hard. Well, luckily, it's not always that difficult. Take Coronado Biosciences. The company is developing treatments for autoimmune disorders like Crohn's disease by using the pig whipworm, a parasite found in the intestines of pigs. The thinking is that people in poor countries don't get those diseases as often as people in rich countries. And that must mean their immune systems are so busy fighting the whipworm that they don't have time to go rogue. But since people in rich countries don't see a whole lot of whipworms, their immune systems get bored and start creating their own excitement. Now, well, Michael Castor didn't buy it. His hedge fund, CO Capital, collected on a short bet against Coronado after the company's Crohn's disease treatment didn't perform well in trials. Castor happens to be a physician, but as the deal's Paula Schapp points out, you don't have to be a doctor to know that healthcare in the third world is more complicated than the whipworm factor. And in some cases, you don't need an MBA to know that a business is shaky. Take Allerade. The company is developing a generic version of the EpiPen to treat anaphylactic shock. It went public last year through a rever reverse merger with a metals recycling company. And Alleride has no actual product yet, although its CEO tells Paula that he's about to sign a big deal with a European manufacturer. Alleride also has all of $6,000 in cash on its balance sheet, along with $4,000 in accounts receivable, and $2 million in liabilities. But hey, a generic version of the EpiPen is a great idea. So great that companies in England and Europe are already making them. And Teva Pharmaceuticals, the generics champion, is about to start selling one here in the U.S. So yeah, figuring out biotech can be pretty hard. But sometimes, it's not exactly rocket science. Here in New York, this is Jeff Kanaj for The Deal.